left hand. Or tight crosses. Or you're wide. And I'm here, free throw line extended in the back. Side to side, there you go, like you're skating. Jabbing like this, you jab like this. But that's kind of hard though. It's like hard because hard. Then, yeah. then you end up trapping. Like, I, I pick my foot up for so sure. So, this is how, like, how I explain to you guys. Bounce off your jab and it comes from the waist up. So I'm here. Okay. Jab right here. Yes. Bounce off. From waist up, bounce off. Shoulder. Yes. That was it. Harder. Go a little bit towards the guy a little bit more. Yes. Oh. That's it. Yeah. Uh, 
Yes, let's try to make it fluid. Instead of going left, right, jumper, okay, okay. I'm just going left and I'm skipping and swiping in. Yes! Special hug.
Today, man, I got a chance to get in the gym with uh, Davion Harmon, who's a senior in uh, Dallas, Texas. He's an Oklahoma commit. He's one of the best point guards in the country, if not the best. Um, today, we really worked on a lot of like change of speed, pace, and bursting off the dribble, things like that. There's a lot of guys at the next level that are fast, athletic, and quick. Um, they might not be as athletic and quick as him, but they're somewhere around that level, or maybe a little quicker, or whatever, depending on the matchup. So you gotta really depend on more than just your athleticism and speed. You gotta depend on change of speed and pace and wiggle and shoulder fakes and different things like that. It's very rare for a kid that's 17 years old to pick up on the things we were learning so fast and quick. Um, he's got really good footwork, really good feel for the game, really good work ethic. Um, he came in and was locked in. He'll make an immediate impact in the Big 12 his freshman year. I don't think that he's gonna have to make a huge adjustment. Like I said, just because he picks up things so fast. Just as fast as he picked up the footwork stuff and selling the move and the change of speed and stuff like that, I'm sure he'll be able to pick up different defensive schemes and principles that his new head coach will have. So for example, if they say we're downing ball screens, he'll be able to pick, up, pick that up quickly. As opposed to most kids this age, that's one of the biggest adjustments, being able to adjust and pick things up so quickly. Um, so yeah, man, I had a, a good time working with him. And, uh, yeah. When I came out to Cali, first of all, I came out to Cali and watched my cousin play. But I was like, I can't go. Uh, I never go on the road without getting some work in. You know, I'm getting, you know I'm getting a workout in. So, uh, so my guy, Matt, he knows, he knows Jews. Got me in the gym, uh, uh, got me in the gym today. I uh, got a great workout in. You know, it's different. Um, I didn't come out here to learn. I want to pick no different different trainers, no, no pick their brain, no, no workout with them. Uh, and just you know, and keep getting better. It's all about no leveling up. Uh, I'm going to Oklahoma next year. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, the thing is that you know, I'm trying to get to the league. You know, that's what I, you know, that's what I want to do. And, uh, you know, being a, being a three of the game, finding no different things, no, 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 what, no, what kind of footwork to use. Uh, you know, how to change your pace. You know, it's not gonna be so easy as you get up levels, just blow by everybody. You gotta have a different change of pace. You not, you might not be able to go 90, 95, 100 all the time. Maybe you have to slow it down to 85 or 75, or maybe even 60, 50. You know, whatever you gotta do. And so uh, me being me being a point guard, that's what I gotta do uh, to make an you know, to make an impact, a positive impact on the floor at all times. And I'm excited. Uh, he got you know, he got me in today. Um, I'm just you know, I'm ready. So when I go back home tomorrow, and I'm be I'm, I'm be ready to go.